Hi everybody, Angie here, coming on to do this week's Marguerite Miller collage challenge with you guys. I have got a whole bunch of stuff here, and I was looking for through them real quickly just to try and refresh my memory, and I have no idea what I had in mind for this collage, so please bear me with me, because I have, as you'll see, I have a lot of stuff. Um, but we're going to get right into this because I don't know how long this is going to take and I don't want to try not to be rushed through it too much. Try and come up with something pleasing to the eye. We are on week 43. The prompts are something from a calendar, border frame, a border or a frame, brown paper or paper bag piece, symbol of heraldry, a place, and for a bonus, we've got handwriting. Okay, so we're going to put that right there. And I'll go through what I have selected, and we're going to work our magic. I have a stencil um, for a border or a frame. I don't know why, but I grabbed these little strips of um, paper that I had for maybe a border of some sort, I guess, to give myself choices. I grabbed that. And then for a frame, I have several, and these are just hand-cut little frames. Um, here's a little frame with a um, specimen card that I made. Um, I thought I had some more. Oh, here we go. And then we've got some more frames. Just different colors, different sizes. Hopefully we can find something in there. Handwriting. I chose this um, washi sticker. And then I had another one in here with some handwriting. There's another one. Calendar. I've got this little digital up, and we are in the month of October, so I grabbed October's. Um, heraldry, I did not get anything for that, so I'm going to skip that, and we're going to use the bonus on that, I think, because I just didn't have anything in my arsenal to use for that. Okay, my brown paper, I grabbed some packing paper. Um, then I just grabbed some other pieces just to fill in for a place. I chose this out of um magazine that i had only because i just love the colors isn't that just yummy i just think that is so pretty so i'm going to use that for place okay and then i just have other bits and pieces i have some trim i have a piece of collage paper i have some more um washi stickers just for color here's a gold one black and white a rose i thought that went well with the colors on my background piece and then just a little um, sticker of a lady there just for to have a, a face in there. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, so let's get into this. So this is going to be my background piece. And since it's going this way, we'll go this way as well. Try and move everything over. How's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's well and in good spirits. I'm doing good. I'm going to try to clip this down a little bit. See if that will help just a bit to hold that a little bit flat until I start gluing things down. That'll work. Okay. Now this is about the size. Now what I was thinking, I, I just love the color part portion of this um, magazine. So what I thought I'd do is just trim it away and kind of cut out the outline of the area here in the map. And I'm just gonna do a quick fussy cut, nothing too detailed. I just really love the color on this, just kind of like a pinky plum maybe. I don't know how much is showing up on camera, but it just really caught my eye. And this came out of a National Geographic's magazine, which actually the magazine was, um, let me show you here. It was of cities right here. So that's the place, you know, different places across the globe. So I thought that was fitting also. How has everybody's week been? I hope everybody's had a really good week. 
I mean, it's Sunday. We're getting off to a new week, but, you know, last week, I hope everybody's week was well. And... Okay, let's see how much of this I want to use. I guess I'll just go all the way down. Okay, let's see. So if that kind of goes there. Okay, now I'm not real fond of the wording up here about the, you know, the page that they're advertising, so I'll cover that up somehow. But I do just love this portion. Um, so I'm gonna start by cutting that down to fit my paper. Okay, that's better. Big enough, are they? Let's see. Maybe something like that. I'm going to try. I don't know if this is going to work. take my stylist and something with a little cushion to it. Let's see what I've got handy. Well, I'm just going to bring a piece of paper underneath. I'm just going to try and trace. Let's see if that's going to work. Like I said, I I just like this colored portion of the map. Not all the extra. And I'm just pushing firmly. And if I can get a tracing line, I'm just gonna cut around this a little bit and we'll go off. Let's see if that worked. Nope, not really. Let's see. No, it didn't. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of just do something like that. That's gonna have to do. Okay, let me bring this back in. I'm gonna glue this down. Use the crinkling. A lot of people like that. Some may not. I do like the texture. And it also softens the, the brown paper up also. And I like the texture. Much, much better. Isn't that pretty? Okay. So let's put that down. Pardon my dog in the background over here. Stretching out and moaning. I think she's dreaming or something. I don't know. Maybe you can't hear it. Okay. Let's start with that.
that's a start. And I was thinking about bringing this down. I might need another little piece right there. Okay, we'll do something like that. And then for this, we'll just kind of, not that it follows the line, but just to get a, well, that's kind of, let's just do something like that. Yeah, I think we'll do that. cover that up okay I like that now I do want to bring in a little color into the brown paper as well and this gives me the opportunity to use my pickled raspberry again my new favorite color right now um, don't mind saying I'm a little bit obsessed with it grab a Okay, and I'm just going to lightly bring a little of that in. Just a little bit up here. Yeah, I like that. Okay, sprinkle this. So let's get this down and then we'll put the next layer on top. I'm going to turn this around. It'll be a little easier to work with for a moment. Might be a little bit out of frame, but I'll be right back with you guys. Let me just get this piece somewhat in position. I'm back. Oh, that slipped on me a little bit. Let me put a little more piece underneath there. Okay, good enough for now. I can always come back and resecure the edges. But we've got that started. Okay, then I want to do this one. Again, bring a little color to it. That should do. Okay, I'm gonna put this one down.
Okay. I can live with that. I like the texture, that's for sure. Okay, so that's our place and our brown paper bag. So next, I don't think I'm gonna need any of these little pieces. So let me get those out of the way. We need border, calendar, border, or frame. And I caught, this caught my, oops, this caught my eye just because of the colors. I just really like that. So I thought maybe I could put that down. Yeah, that's really pretty. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so we'll probably use that. And then we need text and words or handwriting. So that's our handwriting. So let's see what we can use there. And then at least we've got all the pieces down. Then we just got to finish it up. Um, let's see. Kind of like that. Yeah, I think I want to do that. Okay, just put that down just like that. That's pretty. And then that's a sticker, so I'll just, once I decide where I want that, I can just put that down. Okay, then we need our calendar. Um, then I've got all this other stuff. Let's see. This caught my eye. Thought maybe we could use that. Do that. It's very pretty. And I thought this frame was really pretty also. I thought about using that. That fits. Okay, kind of like that. I'm going to do that. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Um, but I also grabbed, before I put that down, I brought my stencil, and because of the brown paper bag, I thought we'd add a little bit more texture to kind of go with that. And this is just a Tim Holtz one that I had, and I thought I'd just bring in a little gesso. And I'm gonna try and put it real thin so it doesn't take forever to dry. Um, Go 
white wipe or two. And something to dig this out. I'm just going to use my texture added texture should I say there we go okay Too, too messy. Okay. I like that. And I'm just wiping off my stencil real quick. Give that just a second to dry. Hopefully we can continue working with that. Okay, that's good enough for right now. Wipe off my fingers. Okay, moving right along. So that wasn't too bad. Try and fan that just a bit. Something a little heavier. It says say quick drying, so hopefully it won't take too long. Okay, and while that's given that a second, I can rethink my pieces here. I think I do want to use these stickers just for a little something extra. It's going to go down over some of it, which is okay. I'm just not going to push too hard because I know it's not completely dry yet. That's fine. And I think I'll put one right about there. I think that's where I had it, didn't I? Something like that. Okay. Okay, that's down well enough. I'll reinforce that in a bit. And then I think I want to put that about there. And I'm not going to worry about pulling the backing off of this sticker. We're just going to go straight down with it. Okay, didn't get quite straight, but that's okay. And then I think I want to put this Yeah, right about there. Okay, I like that. 
Um, what else do we got? Oh, we need the calendar, don't we? Okay, forgot about the calendar. So maybe we'll just put that. Let's just do a little tear on that. Bring a little ink in. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Um, calendar, frame. All right, we've got everything in there except for the heraldry, which I said that I was not gonna use this week. Um, but I'm just looking at my other elements and see if there's anything that I could bring in I like that one. Just get rid of those white edges. Okay, I like that. And each of these little strips are different papers, so they have a little different colors and um, designs on them. Sure, why not? Let's go ahead and do this one. Which side do we want to use? And these pieces here will kind of frame, so to speak, the collage as well. So Okay, I don't think we need to go all the way around, just a little, let me look at that. Yeah, I think that white helps, that white gesso. I was thinking about coloring over it with um, some Distress Ink, but I think that kind of helps the page pop a little bit. What do you think? Maybe we should put her right in the middle of this one.
And this is just one of my little retro sticker ladies. Okay. Um, and then I grabbed this just because of the gold on this, which I don't know that we really necessarily need it. But... No, I don't think so. So we won't use the strips. Do we want any more of this text? I'll go ahead and use the rest of this, I guess. Why not? I love that brown paper bag in the background. I really like that. Okay. Um, have some crochet trim here. For some reason, I want to use that just for more, more texture. And then we'll just keep layering stuff on here until I've had enough. little piece right there. Flip that one in the opposite direction. Okay. Okay, and we've got one piece left. I guess I can go ahead and put that down right here. Okay. Well, it's definitely a busy page, I would say. Um, it's definitely collaged. It's not so much um, my norm where I tell a story or um, anything like that, but I think it has some cohesive balance with the colors and the variety of textures. And I think I'm going to stop there. I'm going to finish letting this gesso dry, and then I'll go back in and reinforce any glue where it is needed. Um, oh, I have another sticker here. Don't want to bring that one in. No, I think we have enough. <laughs> I think we have enough. Okay, I'm going to stop there. And call this one done. So let's run through the prompts real quick. One more time. Something from a calendar. I've got this calendar background right here from a digital. 
border or a frame, I've got this frame here as well as this frame here. Brown paper bag, I've used it in a couple different positions. Um, I did not do the symbol of heraldry, so we will cross that out. And I replaced that with the handwriting, and I did it right there. And a place, it's the map of Tokyo in the background. And then I just added some washi stickers, little lace and trim, a little gesso, and some border around there. And I didn't quite get that straight, so just to balance our eye out, I'm going to trim that. A little bit looks a little bit better okay so yeah I think that's definitely collaged okay guys I'm gonna put this down and as a matter of fact I will bring in a little of my pretty color that I enjoy and Let's see, let's use that sticker over on this side. Let's just put that down right there. What else do we have? Maybe a piece of this leftover border piece that we had on the other side. Oh, as a matter of fact, as also a piece of, let me grab it. Let's use a piece of this um, brown paper bag as well. Just a piece of it. that in and glue it down okay that is my week 43 collage for the week guys I hope you like what you see I hope it brought you some inspiration I hope you enjoyed the process and as always, thank you so very much for spending some time with me. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. And until next time, guys, please have a blessed and happy week. And I will see you soon. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.